It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, except Batman. It's that time of year again, the time of year where enemies become friends and goodwill is spread like a hooker's legs. But not for Batman, no sir, Black Mass has put a hit on him this Christmas. I hope it comes with a receipt. <laughs> oh god, that was awful. But I digress, so in celebration of the Kwanzaa season, it's time for Batman Arkham Origins. What does this have to do with Christmas you may ask? It takes place on Christmas Eve, bitch! Time to talk. Where's Cobblepot? Let me go! If you insist. So the game claims to be an origin story, but Batman has been dressing like a dominatrix for two years or so, so it's hardly an o origin story, so the five minutes of the game is already lying to me, that's bullshit! So basically, Batman beats the shit out of a crocodile man named Killer Croc. Gotta love some of the originality in the comics. Yo, wait, hold up. Who's the voice of Batman? That's not Kevin Conroy! Why, game? Why? Why do you lie to me? Why do you shit on me like a bird shits on my clean car? You know what this game smells like? It smells like a chic. a shit. Uh, a shit. Bad sequel! I mean, it is the game that's missing the polish of its predecessors. Like, it doesn't feel as complete. The story seems unoriginal, and this game makes it less refined combat-wise. But it looks nice, so that's something, I guess. Why am I bitching so much? The game has barely started. Let's give it more of a fighting chance. So to start the game, you, start, you look for Nolan North, because Batman has a hunch on where he knows where Black Mask is. I think. The story got kind of intertwined a little bit. There's a lot of stuff being introduced. It was hard to tell. But I think that's what's going on. Anyway, it turns out that the Penguin, I mean Nolan North, is hanging out on a ship called the Final Deal. Fuck you. There's a terrible ship name. On the ship, the Final Deal, you find one of the assassins, the Electrocutioner. He sounds like a bitch, and he takes it like a bitch, because he's a one-punch knockout like the little bitch he is. So some shit happens, and more shit happens. This map feels empty. Anyone's feeling that? I'm feeling that. Because Gotham, why is every citizen in Gotham a thug? They actually take the time to explain this in the game. What a Where stupid cop-out. No, Honestly, the game started losing me around this point. But then, something amazing happened. You're running out of time. Wait, wait. <coughs> Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. But, or Black Mask. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. And... <coughs> It's Deathstroke! Yes, Deathstroke, he finally makes an appearance. They advertised the crap out of him. They made it seem like he was gonna be the main villain. Oh man, it's awesome. The fight's cool, it looks cool. I mean, just look at this! It's Batman and Deathstroke! Do the fucking shit! Even though I could just go play Justice Gods Among Us, a far better game. The same thing. But that's besides the point. And boom! He's down and out for the countdown. One, two, three, you're done! Wait. Wait, what? He's gone? The fuck? 
How can they advertise the hell out of him so much when he gets beat up by Batman and then arrested? It makes no sense. What's the point of advertising him? Is it me? Or does this story seem to be moving way too fast to get into? They're not, it's not very well paced. It seems like they're just throwing a bunch of shit at you and then the shit's gone immediately. It's not good storytelling. I will say the story does pick up when Joker shows up, but I never really got anywhere past the part when you first encounter him. The game is decent in some aspect, but just falls flat. The game just fails to live up to the past games of Arkham Origin, I mean of Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. It's one of those rare sequels that just that's just overshadowed by its predecessor so much that it just cannot seem to get out of the darkness. Merry Christmas from Noise the Bringer. And the noise just got brought! Realize it is Christmas Eve, sir. You got the touch! You got the power!